Ah, ah, ah. Stop scrolling. You're gonna wanna watch this video, I promise. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Superphone Weekly. My name is Devin Dooley. And this week we're going to be talking about how to run automations through your Superphone. This is when it gets really exciting guys. So let's just jump right into the action. So if you see here, actually I'll just go to my settings screen so that way you can see how I got here, right? So if you go to your settings screen and then click automations and we go to my automations, uh, you'll see I already have three uh, set up here just as a, some tests, but together we're going to make a new automation in my account. So once you hit new, you'll see that it, it tells you to choose a start trigger, right? And you have four options of start triggers to select from. So you have a first message, which is of course, when somebody messages in, uh, a contact created, which is when you create the actual contact. So every time there's a new contact created in the account, it will set this trigger. Um, a contact tag. So if there's somebody in my phone already and I add a new tag to them, it will trigger off a message. Um, and then there's a new purchase. So if you have a Shopify store set up to your account and a new purchase comes through, you can actually set up a trigger that way. Um, so I'll do, we can do two for the sake of this video, just to give you two different options. And for the first one, we'll just do a new purchase, right? So I'll put new purchase here and it allows you to select which item from your store you want to set the automation for at that point, right? So I'm just going to uh, pick the not a hoodie hoodie and I'm going to add a task at that point. So now you'll see that after I've chosen my start trigger, I have two tasks to select from. I can either send a message or I can add a delay before I send a message. So for me, once somebody purchases that sweatshirt, I'm gonna delay, let's say 20 minutes and I'll hit save there. And now you'll see it added that delay and now I can add another task, which is send the message, right? So once somebody grabs the not a hoodie hoodie, I'm gonna say, yo, and I'm gonna use F name as well. So another update here now that we have in Superphone is that when you start to type in any type of merge field, it will pull up a list for you to select from. So I'm going to use F name for the first name um, and I'm gonna say, yo, F name, um, glad you grabbed that hoodie, or grabbed your hoodie. Let me know how it fits and tag me on IG when you wear it. When you wear it. Boom. So now I can save that message and I can actually add another message if I want, right? So I can add another delay. So I can add a 30 second delay now, right? And I can say, let's say I added another one here. I'll say I have 30 seconds to it. So now after it sends that first message, Superphone is going to wait another 30 seconds and I'm gonna send a message and say, oh yeah, before I forget, here's 10% off your next order. Just use the code nah 2020 and I'll save there. So now you'll look at my, if you, if you wanna start from the top of my automation here, I have trigger. Once someone purchases a new hoodie, it will delay 20 minutes and then send a message. And 30 seconds after that message is sent, it will send another message on my back. And once that's done, I can actually just hit save and we're good to go there. So that is how you actually set an automation off of a purchase um, from your Shopify store. Now I know not everybody that's using Superphone will have a Shopify store um, um, connected. So now let's actually choose a start trigger that is when a contact is tagged, right? And this is a very good one for people who are throwing events um, or groups or you know anybody who actually deals with um, groups of people at a time and you're actually tagging them and you want to reach back out um, like say let's say like the, the next day for a follow-up or anything like that this is the perfect thing or the perfect type of campaign that you can actually put together through automations right so for me I'm gonna have once a contact is tagged um, Let's say, let's say I just actually did a birthday birthday dinner. So anybody that came to my birthday dinner, I'm gonna create that tag and I'm gonna save that. So that's going to be the beginning of this automation, okay? Now the next tag task is to send a message. So 
you came to my birthday dinner, I'm gonna say thank you so much for partying with me. Oh, the photographer will be sending out the photos sometime today. Okay, so that's awesome. Now I can save that message, right? And I can say, now I can add a delay. Let's just say I wanted to wait five minutes. And I'm gonna add another task and say, send message and say, oh yeah. We're partying again tonight. That's fun. Everybody likes partying, right? So, <laughs> oh yeah, we're partying again tonight. So they get a message. Once I tag them birthday dinner, my super phone is going to send them a message that says, thank you so much for coming out to my birthday. I've added a delay of five minutes and then it's going to send them another message that says, oh yeah, we're partying again tonight. And that's just a simple way, if you're using it as a personal CRM and you're just contacting people on a personal basis for birthdays and things like that, or even let's say I was actually throwing an event. If I threw an event last night and I know that I have 50 people that came out and, and I have them all tagged, now I can add that tag to an automation like this that can give them maybe a discount code uh, for coming out last night or 5% off of their next purchase or literally just thanking them for coming out to my event that I threw. And Superphone allows you to do that in, in minutes, all right? So make sure you guys check out the automations in your Superphone because it's super, super handy. Um, and it will change the way that you use your Superphone and contact with your subscribers, all right? Now guys, if you are watching this video on YouTube, then please drop a comment, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And if you do have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, just asking us what's going on, ask me directly. Um, and I'll do my best to make sure that I get back to you, right? But until next time, guys, my name is Dev Dooley. Peace out.